Right, ladies and gentlemen, season 10 is here. Today, we're going to be checking out the battle pass. We're going to be buying the battle pass and we're going to be checking out all the items and skins that are in the battle pass, as well as stuff like the missions, the brand new missions that are in season 10, as well as other stuff in this video. Hopefully, you guys are excited for this one. If you are, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're new around here. Make sure you subscribe your notifications on. And if you're buying the battle pass yourself, make sure that you're using code doodles when doing so. It really helps the channel out a lot. Every bit of revenue from support a creator program is going back into the channel to make bigger and better content for you but for now let's click on battle royale let's dive straight into season 10 let's get the battle pass let's do it so right here we go as a special thanks for buying season 9 battle pass you'll start season x off with a 30 percent personal xp boost i'd rather have the five tiers but never mind and we've also got ride the pony because we have saved the world obviously this was a season 2 battle pass uh, emote uh, but if you have if you have the emote already in Battle Royale, you will be getting a brand new emote today called Pony Up. So uh, that's cool for all these season two players as well. Uh, unfortunately, this account didn't start until season four, so uh, I don't have it. And my old account I started earlier, back in and before season one. But this one's a newer account, so. All right, what's this? Uh, what's this cinematic? This isn't the trailer. It's something completely different. I'm assuming this is showing off all the different. Um, Battle Pass items, I'm assuming. So right, there we go. Uh, now we're at the uh, the Battle Pass. We are going to purchase it. Of course, I'm using support creator code Doodles to do so, and you guys should be as well. So uh, we're going to be clicking on the Battle Pass. Battle Pass is 950 V-Bucks. We're going to be going for that one. Uh, this purchase helps support Doodles. Like I said, I'm using support creator code Doodles. You guys should be as well. Let's purchase it. Right, there we go. We've got the Battle Pass. Awesome. I'm super hyped. Let's see what these skins look like that we're going to get. So, right, we're going to get 50% uh, personal XP boost, 60% friend XP boost, the Catalyst skin, which is the female uh, Drift skin, and we've got the X Lord, which is the sort of new variation of Rust Lord from Season 3, and we've got the Battle Pass challenges as well. Uh, so, first things first, let's check out these two skins. Let's see what they're like. Neither of them have... St no, they have styles. Yeah, you've got to complete the Rumble Royale Prestige mission to unlock the styles for... Um, X Lord, which is the scavenger, so he's like shirtless, and then you've got the different colors as well uh, for completing the different challenges. You got to reach season level 35 to get the scavenger uh, for the X Lord and the Rumble challenges for uh, the different colors. Awesome. Then we've got uh, the Catalyst skin, uh, which we've got to get up to season level 10. It doesn't say about that one, so I don't know when we unlock that one. And 55 for the final one, which is like a dark drift skin. That looks awesome. That looks super cool. I, I really like the Drift skin. Drift skin was one of my favorite skins in the game, so I'm super uh, super hyped to be getting this one as well. Then we complete the Road Trip Prestige missions uh, to get the different outfits as well. So awesome. So we will be using her, I think. That's going to be my go-to skin, I think, for a while uh, over the course of Season X. Uh, but let's dive straight into the Battle Pass. Of course, we've got them. Uh, next up, we've got the Rocket Spray. Uh, leave your mark, obviously, um, referring to the, uh, the rocket that... Uh, Happened in season end of was it end of season three? I think it was. Yeah, it was end of season three. The rocket. No, it was a meteor. When was it? Maybe in season four. I can't honestly can't remember now. It's been that long ago. Uh, we got the red knight uh, motorcon, not a skin that I'm a fan of. Uh, we got rocket ride uh, load and screen. Uh, we got the emote camo uh, wrap. I don't know what's emote about it, but I don't know. Maybe it changes when you emote. Look, you can't see you coming your emote, so I don't really know what's emote about that. But uh, either way. We've got it. Uh, we've got the popcorn uh, contrail. That looks super cool. The, uh, the kernels of popcorn uh, float up in the sky. We've got the um, we got the junk bucket uh, glider, which I think's for the X Lord skin. Uh, we've got the boogie bomb motorcon. We've got the frost ring spray. Uh, we've got the suit up loading screen. We've got some V bucks. We've got the final showdown, which I've actually turned my music off because I can't hear people when I'm playing squads in the lobby. So let's check that out. Let's check out this. Um, this music. Where's it up? Right, so this must have been um the, yeah, this was the music from the uh, the mech battle, the robot versus the monster battle. This is awesome. That's cool. That would be really great as lobby music as well. Right, next up we've got a uh, Tralala, which is a traversal. You can skip out a battle, you can skip the battle. That's cool. I like it. That's really cool, that skin as well. 
Uh, next up, we've got the Moisty Maya spray, which is definitely, in my opinion, a hint that Moisty Maya is coming back to the world of Fortnite over the course of Season 10. Uh, of course, the patch notes mention the fact that um, you can that basically places in the map will change over the course of the season. So I predict Moisty Maya will be back in Season 10. And I really hope it is, because that was one of my favourite spots in the early days in the game. Uh, next up, we've got the Cosmic Cleavers. Uh, we've got two different colour variations of them as well. Uh, we've got the Downtown Drift uh, loading screen. Uh, we've got the Fire vs Ice Spray. That's obviously the Ice King vs Prisoner. Uh, we've got the Rift Lightning Control. That's awesome. That's a cool control. I dig that one a lot. Uh, we've got the Knighted... Um, uh, wrap, which is... I think what was, what was called there. The Wrap, which is obviously referring to the Red Knight. I just keep skipping over things, I'm so sorry. Uh, we've got the Tilted Technique, which is obviously a variation of uh, Technique that was in Season 4. It's obviously a new version of Technique uh, for Season 10. That looks super cool, dig it a lot. Technique was an awesome skin as well, so I'm really glad that we've got a sort of a new version of it as well. Uh, we've got uh, the Butterfly Spray, which is obviously uh, related to the um, one of the events that happened. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, we've got the Drift Kit soon. Uh, pet which is awesome we've got the spray sail glider uh, which is their uh, part of the technique set the aerial assassin that's cool we've got the traversal jaywalking uh, emote which is awesome that's cool uh, we've got the eq wrap which is a uh, part of the twin tur uh, turntable set which is part of the yonder set uh, so obviously you've got like the eq the equalizer um sort of volume thing going up and down the levels that's cool i dig it a lot I dig it a lot. Next up, we've got the bottle flip item, uh, which I'm assuming is going to be a challenge for that at some point in Season uh, X. Uh, we've got the Spike Satchel Back Bling, which is part of the X-Lord set. We've got the Sparkle Specialist Spray. Uh, we've got the Master Mix Glider, which is part of uh, the Yonder set as well. Which also plays music. That's cool. Uh, we've got the Sliced Up uh, Loading Screen, which was created by Jim Mafood. I'm assuming that's maybe a fan. I'm assuming that was maybe uh, an image post on like Reddit or something and they've actually made it into a loading screen, that's cool. Uh, we've got Beat Drop Contrail, which is part of the Yonder set again. Uh, we've got the Snowstorm Kitsune um, pet. We've got the Blown Bubbles emote, uh, which is cool, dig it a lot. Uh, we've got the Yonder outfit, which has got various styles as well for different colours and that. Uh, which I'm assuming we're going to have to use, uh, complete missions in order to unlock them, so that's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Like it a lot. Like it a lot. We've got the Risky Reel Spray, which is also, in my opinion, a hint that Risky Reels will be returning at some point in Season 10. And I cannot wait for that. Risky Reel is my favourite place ever in Fortnite. So I really hope it comes back. I can't wait for that. Uh, we've got the OG Classic Music. Obviously, a couple of seasons ago, we got a remix version of it uh, for the music. Now, we've got the actual non-remix OG version of the music, which is sweet. I cannot wait to unlock that tier 50. Oh man, that takes me back to the very early days of playing Fortnite. That's cool. Uh, we've got the Bombers um, loading screen. We've got a fancy flip. Uh, we've got the Yonder Unmask. That's what DJ Yonder looks like with no mask on. Uh, we've got the Sparkle Scythe, which is Fortnite Fever, which I think is for the Sparkle Specialist variation skin. That's uh, so the Pickaxe. We've got um, the Nevermore loading screen. We've got the Kevin um, Spray. We've got Kevin as a... Uh, wrap which is awesome so we got the purple wrap there that looks super cool uh, we've got the uh, boost loading screen we've got the tilted map also oh, tilted maybe return i think og tilted will be returned in season 10 that's another hint in my opinion and uh, we've also got another traversal a lot of traversal emotes in this battle pass we've got stride that's cool dig it and uh, we've got a black kit soon uh, pet as well we've got the crack shot mural uh, loading screen we've got the overlay uh, Contrail, we've also got the Sparkle Supreme, which is a variation of the Sparkle Specialist, which is a really early, I think it was a Season 2 Battle Pass uh, skin as well. Uh, that's pretty cool as well. We've got the Star Shot uh, Backbling, which is her Backbling. Uh, we've got Dusty Devastation uh, Spray, we've got the Firewalker, we've got the Sparkle Supreme Bob Cut, which is a different hairstyle for the Sparkle Supreme. Not as big of a fan of that one as the original. Uh, we've got the Pixel Pilot uh, Glider, that's cool, we dig it a lot. Uh, we've got the breakneck emote, which is like a breakdancing emote. I'm surprised that's taken up for 10 seasons to get a breakdancing emote in the game, to tell you the truth. That seems like such an obvious one as well. 
Uh, we've got the hands off uh, loading screen. We've got the celestial uh, contrail, which looks awesome. Uh, we've got the scavenger uh, wrap, which is part of the storm scavenger set. That looks cool. I like that one a lot. Uh, we've got a ruption. We've got the eternal voyager. Uh, which is basically like the Dark Voyager, just a different variation of that. That was the early skin from Season 3, I think. He's unmasking this one. And then obviously he's got he's a skull. It hasn't got a face. It's got a skull instead. And uh, we've got some more music, Sweet Dreams. I'm assuming this is an emo, but I don't recall it, so I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, that's cool. We've got another variation of the Eternal Voyager. We've got the Explorer va uh, variation. We've got the uh, Steel Wing. Which is part of the Fortnite, which is the tier 100 skin. Uh, that's an awesome glider. That that's cool, especially the fact that it's free. You'd expect that to be like a 2000, uh, like a legendary rarity one that you pay like 1200, 1500 V bucks for. So that's cool. And uh, we've got the maximum drift wrap, which is uh, part of the drift set, uh, which is cool. I think that one a lot. I like that one. That looks super cool. Uh, we've got the Yonder Crown um, style, and then last but not least, we've got the Ultimate King. Uh, which, in my opinion, looks like a cross between the Ice King from Season 7 and the Black Knight from Season 2. Uh, but yeah, that looks super cool. If you haven't got the Black Knight and you've always wanted that skin, then uh, now you've kind of got an opportunity to get a similar skin in the Ultimate skin, which is awesome. I've also got the Dragon Quest uh, back bling for the uh, skin as well. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. That is cool. And we can also go through and we can see everything that we should get as well. Uh, through there. So yeah, we've got, that's a pretty cool battle pass. That's a cool battle pass. We've also got the zero point challenges, uh, which is, how many of them is there? Reach battle pass tier 100, unlock season level mission rewards, complete battle pass missions, complete prestige missions, and to be revealed. And for that, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that final one, the final one's actually going to unlock um, the red Ultima Knight. Alright, cool. Dig it a lot. Right, season level, level headed. So right, I think we unlock different things. Um, it looks like different emotes and um, styles depending on uh, the season level we get to. Obviously, we have got an emote there. We've got two emotes that we can't actually see what the arm for. Oh, we can. Oh, can we? Yeah, we can. So we've got the featherweight uh, emote, which we unlock. Um, I don't know when we unlock it. Probably like season 40 something, level 40 something. Also got the dab stand emote, which is cool. So we dab with our feet as well. That's cool. That's cool. So we actually get some more stuff in addition to the battle pass. And we've also got the battle pass road trip um, missions as well, which we can do three of them right now. Visit uh, Drift Painter Durberg, a head of dinosaur and a sawn head statue. Uh, and we've got some more objectives as well, which we'll unlock obviously as time goes on. And then we also unlock some cool stuff with them. Cool. So we get a lot of stuff in this season, which is awesome. And uh, we've got the Rumble Royale Challenges, which is win a match team Rumble, play a match team Rumble, and assist teammates for elimination team Rumble, which we get different rewards for that. There's going to be more objectives. So that's actually going to get people playing team Rumble, uh, which is cool. We're actually giving people a reason to go and play team Rumble, which I like a lot, because I like playing team Rumble. And then we've got more challenges unlocking every day so maybe rather than having um, like the week one challenges we've actually got right so this is completely different right so they're having like week one challenges week two challenges three four five six seven eight nine ten right week one we've got battle pass uh, rumble royale challenges next week we're gonna have something different and it's gonna do that it's gonna be slightly different this season which is that's weird that's really weird but uh, it's a really cool take on it i suppose it keeps things fresh Maybe gives you a reason to play certain modes and that. So, yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's cool. So, right, and we've also got, obviously, all the style stuff, which we've got to unlock uh, as time goes on for all the different skins as well. Still, I've still actually got looks uh, out last to do as well as Vendetta from Season 8 and 9. So, yeah, I'm still, I'm still a little bit behind. I'm still a little bit behind. Uh, but, yeah, that looks like that is all of the uh, Season 10 Battle Pass stuff. Overall, I think it's cool. It's a cool change. I think the items have gone this season are awesome. I think the way they've done the challenges this time is super cool as well. And then, yeah, I like how they sort of change it up and not keep them the same format all the time. So, yeah, like that one a lot. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one as well. If you are getting the battle pass, make sure you're using code Doodles. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe and notifications on so you don't miss out on any Fortnite Season 10 content because there'll be a lot of this. And also, I will be streaming over on Facebook.com slash Doodles Gaming. That is where I stream now. 
So make sure you go and follow me on there so you can watch all my Fortnite streams where I play a lot of Fortnite and that. Over there, going to be doing some viewer games eventually and all that good stuff. So you want to check that out, facebook.com slash doodlesgaming. You want to check out any of my Fortnite Season 10 content. There'll be a playlist in the description box and on screen at the end of this video. So make sure you go and check them out. My name is Doza. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.